After a two-day trek with a stop in Asheville, North Carolina yesterday, Sycamores finally got to sunny Charleston, South Carolina, in preparation for a three-game set with the Citadel. Well, I'm sore. I don't think they are, but uh, I, I don't feel like I can hardly walk out here. We've been 12 hours on a bus trying to shake it off and get some work in, and, and for the most part, the guys were pretty good. You know, we, we've got to be ready to play, and we've got to have a disciplined approach against these guys. We've got to play fundamental baseball just like any and every weekend. This level demands it. I'm excited playing this way, especially when I'm from. I'm from Puerto Rico. It's, it's always warm and, and hot, and feeling like this, feel like playing home and you know, playing in the snow is different. You know, I'm not used to it, but right now I feel like it's home. <laughs> Tyler Ward will tow the rubber Friday night at 6 to begin the three-game set as he's had the battle of the annoyance of a blister on his throwing hand to this point in the season and not being near 100%. He can feel his meter getting closer to that 100% healthy feeling, and his head coach understands the importance that Ward has played for his crew early on. No, I, obviously, like, uh, the stats haven't lined up to where I think I am personally, but um, it's early. It's a long season, and uh, I'm, I'm just doing what I can to help the team, obviously. Right? We've had some uh, starting pitching roles um, that there's been some, some, some days that we really don't know who's going to start. We show up to the field. It hasn't been 100% uh, yet this year, but it's gone out and battled his tail off in, in, in every outing. So I, I think it's it's just knowing what you're going to get with Tyler. You know he's going to come out and compete and throw strikes and keep you in the game if he's 100% or if he's 80%. And that's that's the great thing about Tyler, and we've come to really lean on him in the program. Roberto Enriquez has been one of the new faces for the Sycamores and has turned out to be one of the new kegs, starting all 13 games, providing value with his bat as well, hitting 333, which is third right now on the Sycamore roster. Right now it's going well, thank God. Um, we're just having fun right now. I uh, love my teammates, love the coaching staff. Uh, I mean, playing D1 is something else, something that I've been dreaming for since I was little. Uh, thank God I had the opportunity to play the great game of baseball. And right now, so far, it's going well. So far, we're high on his tools, and he's, he's uh, showed his tools here early on. I think it'll continue to be his ability to make adjustments moving forward with how people are going to pitch him and how they're going to play him and attack him from the other side. And that's what Robbie's learning. And that's really, at the Division One level, is the first time I feel like a lot of these guys have an understanding of what a complete player means, what that means as a hitter, complete hitter, um, in terms of handling different pitches in different zones and day after day after day. As for the task tomorrow, Ward knows the weekend will be a major test against a strong Citadel program. Playing these guys, these guys have a totally different lifestyle than we have. I mean, like Coach Hannah said, they're waking up at 5.30 every day, and it's scheduled from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. It's, that's totally different uh, for any program in the country, really. And, and for us coming in here, I mean, these guys are going to translate that into their baseball game. They're going to be gritty. This is, a, this is a program we have a lot of respect for and a really good conference. And we're just trying to prep our guys to get ready because it's going to be a tough weekend. You know, you play in a lot of different places. You know, we've been all over this country, it seems like, the last four or five years. But uh, you, you know when you come south, you're going to play good opponents who are ready to play. And, and that's what we're trying to get the guys ready for. Also, maybe the biggest debate of them all, who's the best Fortnite player? on this team, and if Coach Hannes even knows what Fortnite is. <laughs> well, I'm not the best one, but I'm pretty sure when I get a win, I'm, uh, I get so loud and so lit and it's so fun. <laughs> but yeah, I guarantee you, like, when I win, uh, I, I get lit. <laughs> I'm at least top three, there's no doubt in my mind. I mean, I got a dub last night. I mean, I, I don't get crazy either. I, I get them all the time now, so it's just it's just another day. I don't think he knows what it is or how to spell it. Uh, it's, just, it's a hard, it's a tricky way to spell it, so uh, you'll have to ask him about that one. So yeah, <laughs> we will investigate that as the weekend goes on. But first things first, we will have coverage for you starting with first pitch Friday, with the play-by-play -play right here on GoSycamores.com at six o'clock.